Good morning, Southern California. Joe Wright here. Today, I'm in Bakersfield, California, actually just north of it, at a place called Shark Tooth Hill. This is considered one of the most important Miocene fossil beds, not only in the United States, but in Southern California. The bed units are approximately 15 to 16 million years old that we're going to be looking at. At one time, the ocean levels were much higher than what they are right now. And the ocean, uh, what today is the, known as the Pacific Ocean, but that ocean at the time entered into California, into the Great Central Valley, which is roughly about 450 miles long and filled it in shallow sea. And uh, the round mountain silt unit, and it contains two very fossiliferous uh, units that are almost on top of each other, subunits. And uh, they're roughly about a foot thick, but they contain an enormous amount of shark teeth in addition to all sorts of other uh, fossils, uh, not only mammal fossils, but in addition to land uh, fossils. And it was always kind of struck geologists how all these fossils came to one area. And it originally was thought, and when I lived here in Bakersfield, the uh, common thought was that there was a great die-off at that time that occurred either by volcanic actions, some sort of poisoning, red tide poisoning, something that just killed everything off. But as uh, more and more studies came in, more and more research came in, what they uh, ca came uh, eventually determined is that uh, these bones and fossils were eventually just all kind of gathered together in one area due to the sea currents in that area and the uh, physical restraints that kind of trap these deposits. In addition, there was land animal fossils that were coming from the land that were being washed into the same little uh, area that just kind of trapped them. So it produced these units of a lot of fossils. Love you guys, always thinking of you, always trying to research those beautiful geologic and geographic areas around Southern California so that you don't have to. Happy trails, love you Joe.